you drop that gin mill and your head's gonna go in the shop. Forget it. He was too impressed to have you arrested. We did it again. Screwed up in reverse. Oh, this one, uh, he's a fighting general, you know? All mixed up. Doesn't know whether she's coming or going. Which guys are sneaking peeks at me? He punched a jeep? He knocked it out. Me, doctor. Need hands. Operate. Can't help it, Frank. We're the crazy generation. I'm worried about Hawkeye. Yo, Hawk! I'll give you $20 for that pair of long johns. Hey, how about a little golf this afternoon? After the mortar barrage last night, we got a 19th and 20th hole. Why don't you do what you're doing somewhere else? I'll drink to it, but I don't believe it. Hey, listen, could you take it easy with the buddy talk? I got a weak stomach. I say, shall we toddle off? Hurry, ass. No one's seated after the first act. Oh, bully. Somebody ought to do something about this. Call Graves registration. Now, I notice those guys don't eat here. <laughs> Jen. <clears throat> you cheated. Of course I did. How else could I win? Just don't talk to me for the rest of the war. How about the next war? The new one. Oh, you're very observant for a laundress. Listen, I never met a nurse that didn't register. Ah, did registered, registered nurse. nurse. <laughs> very good. Captain, Captain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Trap, leaving a war in the middle is very upsetting to those who invited us. Hey, listen, I don't like a movie. I get up and leave. I don't like the war. I'm going. Can you still see the hair in my nose? Uh-huh, but it's parted on the wrong side. Step behind the screen and raise your skirt. Nobody's examining me. This place is medically medieval. The lab equipment went up San Juan Hill with Teddy Roosevelt. Most of you guys wouldn't know a disease unless it was social and there's not a clean finger in the whole camp. It's 8.30. It's pouring. No movie. No soft personnel. All right, we drink. We drink so we can get through these lousy, stinking 48-hour days. We're cold, filthy, lonely, scared, bored, tired, frightened, and very drowsy. And on top of that, Alice Faye goes to the big city and loses her voice. She didn't. Yeah. We need a drink. The first number on tonight's schedule is uh, Father Mulcahy's solo, I'm Confessing That I Love You. For some time now, I've been comparing the disparity of our callings. Doctor versus priest. You fellows are always able to see the end result of your work. I mean, you know immediately if you've been successful. For me, the results are far less tangible. Sometimes, most of the time, I, I honestly don't know whether I'm doing any good or not. Let us pray in silence and remember those of our comrades who have fallen. I brought you a prisoner of war package. The men don't need my words of comfort when they're safe and being taken care of. They need comfort up there where they're wet and cold and facing bullets. Oh. He's breathing. You hear that? He's breathing. He did it. And under fire, too. Are you scared? Terrified. You know, I, I think it gave me a little taste of what it was like for you. A chaplain in the army has a collar on his neck. If you don't listen to him, you'll all wind up in heck. Right. Take a brave man to be that scared and still do the job. It's OK, Barty. You can let go now. Not till we land. I'm not an angel. You're on the ground. Oh. No one comes for confession. I have no one to grant absolution to, no one to give comfort to, no one who even wants to bend my ear for 10 minutes. Father, why don't you stop punching yourself on the chin? Pick on somebody your own size. I'm Christ's representative. Suffer the little children to come unto me. Do unto others. I'm not just supposed to say that stuff, I'm supposed to do it. You saved me, Father. 
You lowered a bucket into the well of my despair, and you raised me up to the light of day. I thank you for that. Where's the corn? You're looking at it, the mushy stuff. You, you creamed it. You, you ninny. A strike call on the inside corner. Kill the ump. And coming up there with his best. God rest his soul. And when the first man saw the, the dignity and the selflessness of the second man, he realized how petty and selfish he... I... I... I had been... So long, Francis. You've been a godsend. Well, look on the bright side. When they tell us we have to do time in purgatory, we can all say, no thanks. I've done mine. Sherman. Sure,